Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and on today's video we're going to be changing it up some uh, just because I don't want a lot of villager hunts in a row and to give you guys some, I don't know, like newer content. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is another build. Uh, now I have no idea what I'm going to call this or what I'm really going for but I'm going to give it a shot. I saw some things on like Pinterest and Reddit and I wanted to see uh, what I could create. Uh, I was really inspired by some of the builds that I've seen. Uh, so yeah, first off, we're gonna start off by some terraforming, uh, just to give it overall like a good height. I wanted to create kind of like a, a entrance type thing, I guess. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going for, uh, especially like all on this side, but I have a few ideas and I wanna see what I can do. Next, I went ahead and started by placing down a lot of pathing. I went ahead and used all of this like sidewalk pathing along here and really everywhere uh, just to cover up and give me a base uh, because it's really hard to see what you want to create when it's just grass. Uh, I don't know. That's just kind of how I work. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I did run around for quite a while uh, trying to figure out where I wanted to terraform at because I didn't know if this is going to be the spot uh, that I wanted to build at. But uh, I just continued on and completely filled in this area with some pathing and it did actually help me. I did decide to kind of map out a different part uh, just because I felt like this was too, of, I don't know, it was like kind of a weird shape and I was already kind of working with a weird area. Uh, so I kind of wanted to use as less as I could. I don't know, sometimes less is more. But I always like to kind of mess around and actually see where I want to place things because sometimes it just doesn't come to me. It takes me even hours to even figure out one little thing uh, just because I'm very picky and I want to make sure that I end up with something good because uh, it always does stink tearing down something you worked really hard on just to figure out it's not going to work. Uh, so I wanted to make sure this was going to work. So I had a lot of trial and error. I did a lot of things off camera just to make sure it looked okay. Uh, because I don't know, I don't want to give you guys something that I personally don't like. And now that I got the shape that I wanted, uh, that I'm comfortable with, uh, I kind of was confused on how I wanted to go about it. Because uh, European Core is definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, I'm not, I've never done anything like this before. Uh, but that's part of the 401 challenge is to challenge yourself and to get you outside your comfort zone to actually do something that you haven't done before. Uh, you guys let me know uh, down in the comments if you have done like a theme that you've never done before and it was lost because this was kind of me. Uh, I was trying to figure out kind of, I don't know, how I want it to look. Uh, thank God for Pinterest is all I gotta say. Uh, definitely a lifesaver and giving you inspiration and other videos too that really does help and also too just because i'm curious let me know in the comments below uh what are you guys working on uh just your theme and whatnot i'm just nosy and here i am uh, breaking down the spot i said i was fine with uh, i am fine with it but uh i wanted to see kind of how it would play out so i wanted to destroy it first i uh, kind of give you guys kind of like I don't know what I do in the background to see what I like uh, I just wanted to make sure that it would fit properly uh, these walls even though they're really cool they uh, I don't know it's not like a full block so I, I don't know like it doesn't fit the wall perfectly like it should uh, probably doesn't bug everyone but it does me I don't know why it just does uh, but yeah I ended up slightly making it off center like Kind of where it would go right behind it just so it can hide that wall and it actually works i, I really like how that looked it gave it that wall effect that i wanted uh, not just like these open little cracks I, I don't know it just didn't look that good to me and now i'm just breaking down some more of my terraforming uh just to figure out if this is the right spot uh because i wanted to make kind of like an alleyway uh but i didn't know how to go about it at first and I knew I wanted to make it about, well, at least one side, two stories. So I was trying to figure out in my head how I wanted this to look. So I just kind of went back and forth on it, uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Here I am, placing down some more pathing. I really do feel like pathing helps so much. 
it helps guide you i feel like and so i always put it down or at least try to put it down first it just helps me a lot and honestly this area was really tricky for me uh, because i didn't know how big to actually make it and uh, where this is really close to the beach i didn't have as much room as i was hoping to have so i had to make do with what i had and i just didn't want it to be too symmetrical i wanted it to look kind of organic and i don't know just not perfect so i started off by making it exactly the same just to see if i liked how it looked and <laughs> lo and behold i didn't like how it looked so i went ahead and expanded it out as much as i possibly could uh without like being like right on the beach uh so i started off by just putting down all the pathing again uh, just to help expand it uh, I really do feel like this has helped me a lot, uh, especially because I don't know where I'm like making this not perfectly in line with it. I have to play around that. So if you look on the inside, you'll know that there's three like three spots I can terraform in. So I wanted to go out one more uh, just to, well, a few more, <laughs> just to make sure I had enough room. So I went ahead and just put tiles all over uh, just to, I don't know, I have more like wiggle room and now that i basically filled in the whole area i have a lot of room to actually build on uh so now came the hard part i didn't know how i wanted to go about this if i wanted to make it the same or if i wanted to have something like a little bit different so here i am kind of playing around uh, with the medieval walls just to see like kind of how i wanted this to play out uh i was trying to see if i can make it look a little like different like like a different shape uh but i didn't like how it was looking uh so i did end up just kind of doing the same look but just a bit bigger and i really did like it i think it gave that effect and i don't know i felt like it was perfect it fit like the area really well and i was really happy with the outcome uh, now I wanted to make it a second story because I wanted to make a big like fake building. Uh, I really like the look and I've seen so many photos of it so I wanted to try it and uh, I was really happy uh, that I chose to do this because I can't wait to show you guys the outcome. I'm really happy with it. Also too, while I'm building, uh, just I want to know uh, your guys' thoughts. Uh, what do you want to see? What type of builds do you want to see or theme? Uh, we still have two more uh, themes we have to do on this island, and we're almost done with the second half already. Uh, I can't believe it's going so quick, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I really uh, want to know your guys' opinion on things. So yeah, uh, leave a comment below, uh, any type of recommendations on the next island theme or anything at all. And as you see here, <laughs> I need to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, just because uh, I don't know if you guys have ever built on a second story, try to make a fake building. It is a pain, especially if you don't have enough room. So I wanted to make sure I had enough room. And it wouldn't be in a summon video without my controller trying to die. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't die on this video. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was trying to figure out how I can place these so I didn't have to remove like things over and over again. Uh, but Fortunately, I was able to do that, and I was really happy about that because it is a pain. Uh, but all I wanted to do was kind of mirror the one below. It's just a little bit smaller, but I love this effect. I think it looks really great, and I'm really glad that it actually fit. And while I'm recording this, I'm still currently looking for a villager. I really wonder how many tickets it's going to take. Honestly, the... The longest villager hunt I've ever done was almost 1,500 tickets, and that was when uh, Raymond was very popular and very desirable. Uh, so I saved up that many tickets to actually go find him, and it was crazy. But here it is, the end product. I was really happy with it until I realized I forgot to put tiles on top of the building. So unfortunately, I had to pick up everything and place down tiles underneath uh, just to cover up things. I'm really excited. This has definitely gave, given me like a lot of inf like inspiration to actually build this area because I was kind of lost on what I wanted to do. It happens from time to time, but uh, this has given me a lot of hope and ideas on what I wanted to build. And I'm very excited to actually show you guys later on uh, how big this build is actually going to be. I'm really excited. 
now that I got all the tiles placed and I put down all the medieval walls again, uh, time to work on these areas over here. I went ahead and just filled it all with tile again. And now for one of my favorite parts, the actually like decorating around. Uh, I kind of didn't know what I wanted to go for here. Uh, I just was messing around just to see what I could actually uh, like put around here. So I started off by just placing out some hedges uh, to give it some more color and also by placing out some trees just to, I don't know, make it look more uh, realistic and not just like random walls everywhere. Uh, so I went ahead just starting by doing that and I wanted to add some furniture of course. So I went ahead and placed down uh, one of the bistro tables to help, I don't know, just make it, I don't know. I like how they look. I think it fits really well. Uh, now the chair does not. Uh, so I did end up picking that up instantly. Uh, so I kind of did some things off camera to see what I really liked. Uh, so yeah, I uh, did a lot of trial and error. I mean a lot. Uh, I ended up using one of these pergolas here. I felt like this was an awesome touch. Uh, I really like how it looked. And then I ended up using another one. I think it looks really good. And I think it makes it like a nice little like hallway path. And uh, just wanted to add like more like height decorations. Uh, here I am adding some <laughs> decorative bottles. And then the foam box. I like the foam box here. I think it looks really awesome, especially in this like like European core. I think it fits really well. And then also, I just wanted to add some like transportation, so like scooters and bikes, just I don't know to make it look more lively. I was really happy with the area over there. And over here, I wanted to add. Uh, some of you guys recommended to add some statues, so I had to get some, and I got a violent statue. I think it looks awesome. I know it's sideways, but I think it looks really cool like that. I don't know. It looks, I don't know. It looks like it's going up to the sky or something. But after that, uh, just to end off this area over here, I added one of these ruined pillars just to kind of help cover it up. I know the like the tops of like the buildings don't have much on it, but I wanted to wait and leave them empty because I think I might have an idea for it later. And now on the side, I just added some uh, hedges. Uh, I think it's going to help kind of like kind of cap off this area and plus give it some more greenery uh, that it was really needing especially with all these brown colors and now that I'm done let's go ahead and do a final walkthrough And that wraps up today's build. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a break from all the villager hunting. Uh, it is fun, uh, but I know it's also fun to see uh, different things. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below if you like today's build. I am looking forward to doing more on this build. Uh, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.